Okay, this is part four of the tutorial. First thing we're going to do is clean up or fix the tab widths for the holding tabs. So let's go in here and set the width to a quarter inch. And we'll also set the height to a quarter inch. And we'll save. And then we're going to do the same thing to the outline path or the uh, finish um, path. Uh, so when we cut that, we don't just recut to the smaller size the ones we just made bigger. And there we go. And we're just going to generate the tool paths again. Really don't see any difference here because we didn't really change anything. But we're just going to go through and generate all the tool paths and save and then produce all the G code. And I'm going to go through and do it for each operation. Didn't really have to here because it didn't really change anything, but it can't hurt. Okay, and after we're done here, the next thing we're going to do is generate some tool paths for machining the back side. In this case, say we want to have the control cavity on the back. And so we're going to need to flip the body over and make a copy of the control cavity and put that in the right location. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new layer for the back. Then we're going to copy the center line and the outline and put that into the back layer. I'm also going to want to copy the control cavity and put that in there. So there you go. So the next thing we're going to do is to mirror these. So if you go under edit, transform, and mirror, and then if you select a point on the center line because it mirrors about the center line, because that's where we chose. And there we go. Perfect. Now it's in the perfect location. So if we flip our body over, after we've cut the perimeter and all the top cavities, we'd be able to cut the back control cavity. So let's just copy the whole part for the front and paste it and then we're going to rename it to the back and then we can get rid of all the machining operations that we don't need such as the outlines, because that's already been cut. OK. 
Okay. And now we just have to change it, the primitive ID in here, to the correct one. There we go. And we can then just go ahead and generate the toolpath because all the other parameters are going to be the same. Now, if this was in a thin line body, we might not want to cut the whole depth. We might just want to do a profile cut and cut out the little piece, you know, quarter inch deep if that's the thickness of the back. So it would just drop in and we could fish it out. But now what I was going to do is I'm going to create a profile cut of the back cavity to create a little lip that the, ca that the control plate can sit on. But we're going to use a smaller end mill to make that profile cut. And it's just going to be an eighth inch from end mill because we only want about an eighth inch lip all the way around. So let's go in here and we'll change our default tool. Okay, so we've selected our primitive again. Going to do a profile cut. And we'll set the clearance plane to zero. The depth of cut to 0.0625 or about a half of or a sixteenth of an inch. And our target depth, we're just going to do minus 1.125. So an eighth of an inch. <laughs> And we'll make it a finishing cut because we don't want to leave any around the edge. And then we just have to set the to an end mill, though it doesn't really matter. Let's rename it. go. Generate the toolpath. And you can see the little bit right there. Let's save. And that's it for that. And now we need to generate our G code. First, we got to change the name of the file because we had copied it from the part from above. So we're going to give it a new name.
and we'll produce a G code there. And the same thing for the eighth inch back. There we are. Let's save everything. I produce the G code for that file. And we're all done. So, that was the end of part four. Um, as you saw, it's pretty easy to copy a part or a draw, piece, part of a drawing and then to invert it. Uh, you can flip it, you know, along the X axis or the Y. Uh, or the Z. It all depends on what you need to do. Anyways, thanks for watching.